connecting with the divine with your eyes closed this meditation connecting with the divine with your eyes open is darshan come let us all now move from meditation to darshan slowly very slowly please open your eyes
I welcome you all with my love and respects. I welcome all the devotees, disciples, samajis, satsangis, Shri Mahans, Mahans, viewers, visitors, Sarvangyapite, Ejamans, Kartas, Shri Mahans, Mahans, Kotaris, Tanedars, Kayakalpa Yoga participants, Nityananda Yogam participants, Nityananda Hindu University students, 
Nityananda, e Gurukul students and everyone watching live on Nityananda TV, YouTube Live, Facebook Live, Enlighten App, Kailasa TV Live, Hinduism Now TV, Twitter and Tube Video Conferencing having Naina Diksha. I welcome all of you with my love and respects. Today, seventh day of the Nityanandeshwara Brahmotsavam. Today, Sri Nityanandeshwara Paramashiva, Sri Nityanandeshwari Parashakti are gracing in Sarvalankara Maha Ganapati, Paramaganapati, Paramburul, and Vali Devasena Sami, the Subramanya Swami, Nityanandeshwari Parashakti Chandigeshwara, and Bhagavan Nityananda Paramashivam, and Sri Nityanandeshwara Paramashiva and Parashakti are gracing in Amla and Amala. Seated in Swarna Rishabhavagana. Let's first receive Ganapati and all the God's blessings and enter into Satsang. Atha Dhupaha Om Dhurasi Dhur Dhurvantam Dhurvatayo Osman Dhurvatitam Dhur Vayam Vayam Dhurvamastvam Devanamasi Sati tamam bapritamam justu tamam vanhi tamam deva hu tamam ahritam asir havirdhanam trigum hasvamakwa a mitra satya prek shusha prek share ma birma sam victama twaigum shisham shinitian and they shuri parashik disamed shinitian and they shura paramishivana hasarva deva devi surupai bagote shinitian and the paramishivana hat hupamagra payami om uddi ipias vajata veda pagnim neritimama Pasum gusha mahyama vahajiva nam chadisho dasha mano higum seer jata vedo gama swam purusham jagate abhid bradagna aga hisriya ma paripatea shinitian and deshwari parashakti samed shinitian and deshwara paramashivaya maha sarvadeva devi swarupaya bhagavate shinitian and the paramashivaya maha Deepam darshayami Om Bam Amrte Amrtod Bhave Amrtavarshini Amrtam Shravaya Shravaya Swaha Shintyanandeshwari Parashakti Samet Shintyanandeshwara Paramashivaya Namaha Sarvadeva Devi Surupaya Bhagavate Shintyananda Paramashivaya Namaha Amrtam Mahani Vedhyam Nivedayami Somo va etasya rajjama datte Yo raja san rajjo va some nejate Deva suva methani habigum sivavanti Etavanto ve devana gum savaha Taeva smeis bavan prechanti Taenam puna suvante rajaya Deva suraja bhavati Karpura goram Karuna avataram Samsara saram Ujagendra haram Sadava santam Hridayara vinde Bhavam bhavani Sahitam namami Shinityanande shuri parashakti sameta Shinityanande shura paramashivaya namaha Sarvadeva devi surupaya bhagavate Shinityananda paramashivaya namaha Karpura nidajanam sandarshayami With the grace of Paramashiva and Parashakti and with the protection of Mahakala Bhairava, let's enter into today's satsang. Today's message from Kailasa, Paramashiva Jnana and Paramashiva Vijnana. I was explaining about the Hindu think tank. Life positive, liberating, enlightening. Understand the principle of liberation is Making you 
experience higher and higher realities. Nothing wrong having ignorance when you are born, but something is seriously wrong having ignorance when you are dead, when you are about to die. Listen, nothing is wrong if you are born with ignorance. Something is seriously wrong if you are dead with ignorance. Life in Hinduism is liberating, means raising you to the next, next levels of consciousness. I tell you, whenever you are hit with the strong sufferings of life, Whenever you are terrorized, having literally mental breakdown, collapsing, settle down with Parama Shiva, you will just wake up to the next, next level. So of reality. You will raise to the next, next levels of enlightenment. Listen, nothing can be compared to the liberating mental setup of life. Be very clear. Fundamentally, Hinduism is liberating. Every moment, it inspires you. Move towards liberation. Enlightening means, it raises the very quality of your existence and transforms your reality to the next level. Understand? In Hindu tradition, life, death, all these are not like a beginning and end. No, it's all just one continuity. Till you decide you are absolutely one with Paramashiva, and you are ready to relax in that ultimate completion, you go on manifesting, 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 manifesting higher and higher realities is enlightening. Understand? Good or bad? Dream which you never want or dreams you always want, both are dreams. When you realize that, you wake up from the dream. Giving this understanding in every level of reality and raising you to the next is what I mean by the word liberating. Please understand, a real Hindu think tank should be strong spiritual consciousness based. It cannot be just social thought current, set of economic thought current, set of political thought current. No. It has to be deeply enlightening spiritual thought current because Hinduism is fundamentally life positive, liberating and enlightening.
without the consciousness of enlightening the hindu thought currents about economy administration social justice law and order cannot be developed cannot be understood that is why in hinduism even the future kings and queens yuvarajas and yuvaranis are also trained first deeply in spiritual enlightenment the spiritual strength is cultivated enlightenment is cultivated extraordinary beauty of hindu tradition is being rooted in atma bala the supreme knowledge of vedas and agamas understand principles policies strategies about your own existence in your personal life private life secret life public life social life in every level the strategies ideas principles you evolve to raise you socially economically politically powerfully everything should be in sync with this three truth life positive liberating enlightening every dream you want to have ultimately should make you understand to go beyond the dreams every dream you want to realize should make you understand to go beyond the dreams nightmare a day or day dream fantasy dream or frightening dream both should make you realize it is dream life should constantly make you more and more strong that is what i call liberating realities liberating and enlightening understand liberating and enlightening one thing i understood thoroughly in my life every experience if you see with this one understanding of how to use that to liberate yourself and enlighten yourself you are living enlightenment good or bad right or wrong do not classify them judge them just see how it can liberate you and enlighten you everything becomes strength everything empowers you 
everything empowers you hindu think tank is all about empowering you and empowering the world hindu think tank is all about empowering you and empowering the world I am giving you the fundamental core principle sutras. I request all of you to form the core think tank groups. Yesterday we received something like a thousand two hundred people wanted to form think tanks in their places. I'll continue to guide and reveal the vision about the think tank. Form small, small, small groups, not more than fifty people, maximum fifty people. Minimum it can be even one mind. One person is more than enough to create a think tank. <laughs> all great thought currents evolved raised from one brain which impacted planet earth so one mind one person is enough maximum 50 form a team and start every day vakyartha sadas after satsang jivartha sadas after satsang that will naturally evolve as a think tank in few days life positive liberating enlightening these are the fundamental principles of hinduism basic principles of hinduism understand extreme life positive absolute liberation ultimate enlightening this last One and a half years of great pass. I should say it is not a continuous great pass, but going in and out, and but a great pass. I should say almost two years of this great pass. Parama Shiva has revealed something extraordinary, and he is sharing something extraordinary to the world through this body. I can see not only the signs of Kaya Kalpa, the very systematic. revelation of the parama shiva gnana and parama shiva vignana this whole inner signs and technology of the yantras mandalas 
to manifest the Ishwara Shakti and to work on gravitational force and electromagnetic force and weak nuclear force, strong nuclear force, ultimately the Ishwara Shakti. Even if we build just few bodies, few minds, which is absolutely positive, life positive, and liberating, enlightening cognitions, planet Earth will be benefited. That is what I am trying to do through my Gurukul and Nityananda Hindu University all over the world. Constantly teaching how to be life positive and liberating and enlightening. Very principled, systematic training very principled evolution, principled knowledge, principled understanding. Not unruly. Not imaginary, but very systematically presented in Veda Agamic tradition, a very principled truths evolved. principled truths raised understand truths lived manifested Again and again, <sighs> makes you realize how truth can liberate and enlighten. Understand? Every time I have seen when Paramashiva wants to reveal the next level of principles and truths and power manifestation, he tests the integrity of the people. All these attacks, scandals, rumors, crises, everything is just the test to my strength and your strength and our strength to stand together, integrated to Paramashiva, that's all. I tell you, every time I have seen, it is my, it is a test for my strength, 
your strength and our strength to stand together integrated to Paramashiva. Then he showers the next level of state, space, powers, being, super consciousness. I have seen this happening step by step by step. I always used to feel with Paramashiva, eh, what tapas I have done, being integrated to you is the only way. That is the only tapas. Let me do that. Whoever stands with that kind of a feeling together, they are showered continuously. I have seen and I am seeing. Not just external, alone, everything external, wealth, internal wealth, health, knowledge, everything. I tell you, I have always seen intense energy triggers multi-level positive thought currents. Whenever I am in an absolute samadhi, I have seen the frequency becomes so strong like a hundred tongues giving hundred satsangs with a hundred different positive thought currents. That is the way I feel. Like as if now hundred Nityananda is giving satsang to all of you with a hundred intense positive thought currents. Instead of one Nityananda, one positive thought current entering into your being, hundred thought currents entering into your being. Whenever body is in intense samadhi, that is exactly I feel. Even now exactly that's what I feel. With hundred tongues, I am talking about hundred life positive thought currents, ideas, strategies, principles entering into your being. With tremendous love, understand? The intense love I felt for my masters made me receive the whole thought current into me. With each master, the quality time I spent made me master the thought current they were teaching. Not just the quantity of time, quality thought current, quality time. The see, intensity of the love is quality time. Number of hours is quantity time. Intensity of the feeling connection is the quality time. The quality time I spent
this is what actually what we call maunam vyagyanam when paramashiva sits as dakshinamurti in silence the intense love between him and the disciples such high frequency spiritual thought currents are revealed less words too many truths are shared like a formula style the sutras are revealed and the sutras get applied and evolve and multiply as thought currents hindu way of education beautifully that gayatri mantra expresses there is no brainwashing there is no spoon feeding of ideas nothing it just says let me meditate on the consciousness which kindles truth and knowledge in me om burbhuva suvah tat savidurvarenyam bargo devasya dimahi diyo yona prachodayat let me meditate on the consciousness which awakens more and more intelligence consciousness in me more and more life positive principles liberating principles enlightening principles are shared that goes and sits in your system and your whole thought currents are developed with these three basic principles life positive liberating enlightening when somebody understands absolutely life positive way the whole life your youth middle age old age death all this you will have completely different understanding which will be liberating not suffocating enlightening not engaging i tell you intensity of the truth i am experiencing inside is so high mapping them to the words is taking such intense silence and time please understand ordinary words can be written printed on ordinary paper but the currency can be printed only in the special paper same way 
the great truths i am trying to reveal to all of you can be printed only on silence then silence is the material on which i can map this great principles i am trying to reveal intensity of the truth i am supposed to reveal to all of you demands absolute peace and intense silence as the base material on which it can be printed understand hatred can be vomited only in screaming during the screaming your logic is not allowed to function it is like a literally verbal rape screaming through screaming hatred is pushed into you but love can be pushed into you only in the deep silence and peace only with the deep silence silence has to be the canvas that has to be the basic material on which the highest upanishadic principles can be printed and shared can be sent silence has to be the container through which the content called upanishad can be sent to you that is what i am trying to do from today morning that's why i am is so intense in every level whether you make decision about what to eat for your breakfast or you make decision about what should be your company policy for profit what should be your strategy to deal with crisis in your career or relationship health personal life or public life everything apply these three principles absolute life positive and look at the situation and see how it can be liberating you life is given to you for liberation understand whole world is around you to enrich you not for giving you pleasure but for giving you right understand look at the world world is there for me to give right not pleasure it is not here for me to suck and enjoy the pleasure it is here to do good to me universe is here to give good not to give pleasure every situation is here to liberate you listen carefully everything in the life is here to enlighten you everything in life is here to liberate you and enlighten you all crises good bad right wrong
Don't be childish. Do not expect. Life should treat you cutely. Life should feel you are very cute. No. Life should feel you are bold, intelligent being. Understand? Life should feel you are a strong person. Understand? The Paramashiva Jnana and Paramashiva Vijnana means the pure spiritual knowledge and its manifestation as reality. That knowledge actually exists as frequency and Shanti, Parama Shanta is the conduit need to be established between you and me for that frequency to get mapped and transmitted. Listen, that is why in Upanishad, before beginning and after ending, Om Shanti, 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 that Shanti is the conduit between you and me. That is the spiritual umbilical cord connection, spiritual umbilical cord connection. If you sit with that Shanti, the principles I am revealing, you see, I am revealing the principles more in the form of like a sutra, formulas. It can go and sit in your inner space and become part of your cognition and when these spiritual principles become part of your cognition, your every thought current will have that clarity and depth. Understand? Absolute life positivity, liberating, enlightening, all these three are actually principles, formulas. If you cognize this truth, your whole life, all your thought currents will be transformed. Then death will not be suffocating. When it comes, you will simply know it is just moving from one body to another. Nothing is lost. In every level, you will understand what is the real strength and what is the weakness. Constantly you expecting life should treat you with kid's glove and life should look at you very cutely is the weakness. You knowing you are an adult, mature, strong being and life should treat you like that. You are okay if the life tests you. You are okay if the life, life sees your strength. You are okay to face it. That is strength. Understand? The way you face the situations of the life and stand, you give confidence to life, it can give you higher possibilities and responsibilities. 
because you will stand for higher and higher possibilities and responsibilities. Listen, hard work gets you more hard work, sincerity gets more sincerity, integrity gets more integrity, like money makes more money. If you demonstrate strength in facing every situation, you will have more strength. Because every situation in your life will strengthen you. Same way. Look at the life with absolute positivity and absolute liberating cognition. Know very clearly life is here to liberate you, not to bind you, torture you, no. Life is here to enlighten you, not to bind you destroy you. No. When you know life is liberating you, you will feel like liberating everyone in your life. When you know life is enlightening you, you will go on be enlightening everyone in your life. I tell you, strength is non-violence. From the day one, the way I was attacked, See, the people who are attacking me, what intention they have, how bad they are, all that is different. When it comes in front of me, I decided always to look at the whole thing as life positive, liberating and enlightening and it always made me stronger and stronger and stronger. Whether assassination attempts or lawfare or the amount of hate speech, lies, abuses, scandals, I tell you, in Tamil there is a proverb. Titta titta dindukkal vaya vaya vairakkal. How much ever they abuse, I only become more and more stronger and stronger. How much ever scandals they have started creating, I only become more and more polished diamond. Understand? This is one of the secret I wanted to reveal to all of you. If you want to be a celebrity leader, successful in any field, whether religion or spirituality or movie or entertainment industry, politics, society, in any level, company, business, career, in any level, you want to be a leader. Give confidence to life and people around you. You will stand with the stamina. If you expect life should treat you cute and kids glove, that is the absolute weakness. If you demonstrate to the life, hey, I am an adult, you can trust me, you can hit at me, no problem, I can, I can deal it, I can handle it. 
and even if you hit i will only contribute i will not be violent i will be non violent i'll be powerful non violence comes always from powerfulness never by powerlessness it is tapas of mahatma gandhi he was able to be non violent non violent response to life comes from the liberating cognition to demonstrate to life hey i am an adult i don't expect you to treat me cute i am ready to see how you are treating me and i am ready to demonstrate my possibilities and responsibilities and i will be absolutely life positive contributing enriching i tell you how you face life when you feel it is hitting at you decides how your future is going to be demonstrate absolute non violence don't be violent towards others or towards yourself or towards life no non violence in all five level non violence towards others non violence towards yourself non violence towards life non violence towards jagat world and non violence towards ishwara no frustration no blaming of others of yourself of life of world of god or any unknown known unknown no frustration no violence absolute non violence i tell you understand life positive means being absolutely positive with yourself with others with life with world jagat with god ishwara with all known unknown that is what i mean by the word life positive today satsang the essence of today satsang is these three words life positive liberating enlightening bring this three qualities into your whole thought current you will become a hindu think tank i want every hindu to become a hindu think tank understand if you believe you have only one life there will be so much of fear fear to complete what you are supposed to complete the failure fear of failure the fear you may not accomplish what you have to accomplish you be very clearly informed 
you have huge time in front of you, energy in front of you, life in front of you, eternity and decide to be absolutely life positive. Understand? Whenever known, unknown attacks happen towards you, abuses are thrown, rumors are spread, scandals are put, hatred is dumped, do not expect life and others should treat you cute. No. Stand with the strength, I am an adult, I am consciousness. How a conscious, enlightened being will face life in this situation, let me face. And I tell you, tiring the people, People who are attacking you just by your strength and passions and non-violence is the most successful strategy for victory. I'll repeat, I'll repeat. Tiring the people who are attacking you with hatred with absolute non-violence, strength and powerfulness as a response is the most successful strategy for victory. I adopted this strategy from 2003. 2003, the public attack started on me, rumors, scandals and attack. From that time till now, I adopted this strategy and I always won Paramashiva's grace. Paramashiva always protected me. Mahakala Bhairava always protected me and protecting me will protect me. I have so much confidence in life. Because I don't expect life to treat me cutely. No. All of you understand? When you are attacked, you try to be your liar. When you have pain, you try to be your liar. When others have pain, you try to be a judge. I am very clear. Expecting life to treat you cutely is weakness. Standing with the strength of enlightenment when the life treats you the way it happens to you. And looking at the situation every minute and making it look with life positive and use it for liberating yourself and use it for enlightening you. This is the most non-violent strategy, successful strategy for victory. Non-controversially, I can make this statement. One of the most persecuted Hindu Guru. I am one of the, surely, one of the most persecuted Hindu Guru. I may not say most. I can use the word, one of the most. The reason why I am always successful and having last laugh is because I am non-violent and absolutely powerful.
just by my powerfulness and non violence i tire the abusers haters attackers out i tell you haters does not have strength hate itself is generated from powerlessness powerfulness is generated from enlightenment non violence is generated from enlightenment be hindu think tank for your own life your family your society your community and for your country and for your world the three principles absolute life positive look at the life as liberating and look at the life as enlightening apply this three truths in multi level every way this three are the golden principles golden rule life should be this is the teaching i received from my own guru ulagam nalam thara irukirathu sugam thara alla world is here to give good to us not just pleasure to us do the right not the pleasant sometimes right may be pleasant then okay but the priority should always be right understand if you know life is here to do good not just pleasant your expectation of pleasantness from life will reduce that is the liberation liberation is not expecting life to deal you cute and with kids glove peace is the most powerful demonstration of strength peace 
is the most powerful demonstration of the strength. Silence is the most powerful destroyer of hate. When the hatred is dumped on you, if you react, you will create karma chakra. By being silent, you will burn the whole hatred. Beautifully, Dakshinamurti demonstrates when Tarugavana Rishi sent all sorts of weapons on him. He sits in silence and just through silence he destroys all the weapons sent on him and makes all of them as his abharanas and glory. Silence. Most powerful winner of all hate speech. Non violence, powerfulness, patience, silence. In the face of attack, abuse, all kinds of lies and hate speech. Then the whole collective negativity will be destroyed. Today's meditation, powerful cognition is just this three cognition. Absolute life positivity, liberating, enlightening. Meditate on these three principles. I will connect you with Kailasa and manifest the state, space, powers of Paramashiva, being and consciousness of Paramashiva. Let's start the meditation. Meditate on these three principles. Life positivity, liberating, and enlightening. Start the meditation. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Om Nityananda Paramashivoham
शिवोहम ओम नित्यानंद परम शिवोहम ओम नित्यानंद परम शिवोहम ओम नित्यानंद परम शिवोहम Oh, 
Paramashivoham With this, I bless you all. Let's all radiate with integrity, authenticity, responsibility, enriching, causing, living, Shuddhat Vaita Saivam, Paramashivoham, Om Nityananda Paramashivoham, the eternal bliss, Nityananda. Thank you. Be blissful.